What's up, everybody? It's the Bipolar Prophet, and welcome back to Old Ridge Farm in Farming Simulator 15. You can see it's soybean harvest time. Um, one of the, I guess, benefits, disadvantages, uh, whatever, you, however you want to look at it, of planting sort of in, you know, very late midwinter is that you get a mid-spring harvest. Um, it's good that these soybeans are coming up, actually, because I do have a delivery date over, over to Soya UK. Also, uh, we're harvesting these about maybe we maybe 11 or 12 15 days something like that early uh because we're looking for seeds here we're not looking for actual beans uh, so you have to harvest them a little earlier so uh perry is over here driving a harvester um phil is off on the on meadow nine i think tedding um so we'll be over there raking and bailing that up at some point uh, but obviously right now my main focus is getting these uh, beans, these seeds up, and getting them over to Soya UK. Not going to store them at all. Uh, as soon as I get a full load, we're going to take them over there dump them. Uh, I should hopefully get at least two trailer loads of seeds off of this, you know, to make it worth it. Once this is done, we're going to direct drill corn right through the trash. Uh, I'm not going to do any groundwork whatsoever uh, just to keep this sort of soil, uh, you know, disturbance to a minimum. After the corn comes up, up oh, and uh, it looks like is done uh, after the corn comes up then we'll probably leave it for stubble for the winter and then in the spring again we'll you know I'll uh, spread some manure on it maybe plow it uh, at the very least cultivate it and start all over again so we've already made one pass around this field uh, I've already had to dump the, the combine once the yield is not fantastic it's not awful though you can see the soil pH is slightly acidic I don't want to mess with it because I'm afraid if I come over here and start spreading lime before I drill the corn in that it'll go too far the other way and I'll end up with an alkaline situation like I have on the home fields and like I have on field 10. Um, I need to let these fields kind of balance a little bit. We, you know, uh, I've been having a little bit of an issue with, with nutrients and with soil um, acidity and stuff. And of course, one quick way to solve that would be to plow these straight down uh, and start over again. But again, you know, the soil disturbance is the issue there, you know. I want to do as little soil work as possible from now on uh, because, you know, yes, it's good to turn the soil once in a while. And yes, it's good to, you know, get the nutrients, you know, to, to break the, the sort of compaction layers that build up in the soil after a while. But the more soil work you do, the, the least happy the soil is. And as you guys know, happy soil makes happy crops. So the, the nutrients aren't bad. The ends, uh, the PK is a little low, but that's not so bad for soybeans. So. Um, you know, no weeds or anything, uh, and it's all working out pretty well. So, you see a lot of trash coming out, um, as it would be, because we're taking less of the plant uh, and just the seeds. So, a lot of trash coming out, which is fine, because like I said, we'll drill right over that, uh, and that will eventually, you know, rot down into the soil. So, adding more organic material, which is always a good thing. Not that I don't have, you know... Uh, about 500 tons of manure <laughs> but you know the more again you know the less of that i have to use the better too less nitrates less runoff less all of that stuff so uh we will be using that in the spring and we'll be using it on the plant on the fields that i'm going to put uh winter barley in uh after uh everything else comes up so it's a little early to be harvesting 646 in the morning but it's cloudy it's not supposed to rain but, you know, you never 100% know, even if the forecast says, you know, there's no rain sort of in the forecast, you know. Um, I don't 100% trust it. I want to get this done before it rains. So, Also, funnily enough, the potatoes are up too. Um, the potato, I used a different sort of species of potato this year, uh, and they grew quick. <laughs> you know, normally potatoes take a long time to grow. These grew up very quickly. So... Uh, I need to come up with a solution to how to get them out of the ground because, as you guys know, after my whole lag issue and everything, I got rid of a bunch of mods. One of the mods that I got rid of was my the Roper Keeler Potato Harvester uh, because it was throwing up a lot of errors. You know, not, and, and to be honest, I don't know that the errors were causing the lag on that thing. You know, but I was in the mindset of if it has an error, get rid of it. So it had a couple of errors, um, so I got rid of it. So what we'll probably do is just go to an in-game one. Um, I'll just buy one of the, the roosters, a rootster, or whatever it's called. Uh, no, that's the sugar beet one, right? The other one, the potato one, anyway. I still have the topper, so we're good with that. So he's going to be full soon, so I might as well scroll around here and uh, get into the case. Oh. Multi fruit pudding. Um, I'm not sure what that is, to be honest. I have no idea. <laughs> Oop. If I turned off the uh, break, I don't know if that. It's not potatoes, it's just really big soybean seeds, so. 
you know, I guess I'm having a great harvest because my soybeans are, you know, a foot, a foot and a half across. So, okay, that's fine. I'll just come in the wrong way, make them stop, and then we can unload. So what I think we'll do in this episode is we'll, we'll sort of focus on this harvest, uh, getting this done. And then in the next episode, we'll probably be drilling this field, um, unless this field gets done in a reasonable amount of time in this episode. Uh, we'll be drilling this field, and then we'll be uh, figuring out how to get those potatoes out of the ground. So, How full is this going to be? Now, I don't want to run back and forth a whole bunch of times with a half-full trailer. Uh, I'd really rather go with a full load, so I think I'll just wait for him to, to, to for this trailer to be completely full, and then I'll take it. This just doesn't make any sense. It's 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 a waste of diesel. So, okay, very good. Shut that off. Set the brake. I suppose what I could do is you're done, right? Okay. Do I want to cut another meadow right now? Do I want you to cut another meadow right now? Uh, I think I kind of do actually. And thanks for turning on your lights. But at least now I'm not getting the lag issues with the lights. So. So I think what I will do is, I will uh, turn on the beacon, first of all. Of course, this is going to require me running back to the dairy to get the mowers, but that's fine. Whoa, whoa, fence. Oh, fence again with this brick wall. The money I've spent rebuilding the corner of that brick wall because I keep smashing into it. <laughs> Ah, another cloudy, sort of foggy day here in Old Ridge. We've been in this weather pattern. It hasn't rained, but it's been foggy and not great. So, well, you know, oh well, that's, that is what it is, I guess. Probably good to keep the heat down, you know. Um, not that it's been, you know, it's it's still, you know, it's mid-spring. It's not, it's not cold by any means, but we're not into the heat of summer either, so. Oh, I was going to go to the dairy, wasn't I? But you know what? I think if I... Oh, I have to go to the dairy anyway, don't I? Because that's where the mowers are. I was just thinking I should stop leaving so much stuff over to dairy, but it's all over there now, so I have to go over there anyway. Dairy BP. Come on. I swear, when it gets foggy like this and everything sort of looks the same, it's all just gray, I get so disoriented. Oh, you know what I wanted to grab, too? I believe this thing is, well, not full of eggs, but there's quite a few eggs in there. I'm going to grab those while I'm here, just so I don't forget. Probably should get over and sell those at some point as well. All right. So we will go to the dairy. I think I may have discovered my soil mod problem, too. I think... When I added sunflowers, while they technically work, and I followed the great, uh, very easy to follow tutorial from FS Modding on how to add them, you know, um, I think I may have done something wrong, uh, and that may be kicking up some errors from Soil Mod, you know. Again, they're not so bad. They don't cause a lot of lag. They don't cause the game to freak out or anything. Uh, but it's still an error, and I'd really like to get this as error-free as possible, obviously, so... I may have to have a look at that. Either take them out uh, and, and put them back in again or just take them out completely. I don't know. Um, I don't have time for it this year, but I will probably get to it uh, after this you know, season is done. So I also need to move this tree because this is still causing some lag over here. This tree doesn't like to be up against everything over here. so I just don't have time to move it. I don't have time to chop it up and move it. Okay. Now, I wonder what are the odds? Hmm. I wonder. Can I... Uh, I don't have a weight on this, right? So can I... I don't know if this is technically uh, legal or not, but I'm going to try something. I don't know why it wouldn't be. Um, I'm going to put the tether on the front, and I'm going to put the mower... Oh, no, I can't because I have a... Uh, I'm going to use the front mower too, aren't I? The only way I can do this is to get both pieces of equipment down there is if I don't use the front mower, and I don't really want to do that. So, okay. Well, you know what? The tether can stay right there because we'll be back for that anyway, so... All right, anyway. There goes BP, thinking about plans that just don't work. <laughs> uh, what meadow are we going to mow, though? That's the question. 
my meadows are done. The storage meadow's done. The pig and beef meadow are, is done. Uh, we could do the smaller meadow on the other side of the pig facility, but mm, I'd rather have them working on something a little bigger, I think. Uh, where else can we go? I mean, not that there's any shortage of meadows, certainly, but... Well, you know what we could do? Oh, you're on the... Yep, you're on the rail. Um, we could go over here to what I call the OEB meadow uh, and mow that one up. I bet that one's not in great shape because I just didn't have time to, to take care of it the way that I would have liked to last year. Um, you know, it was really just a quick hit of slurry, some PK, and then, you know, sort of leave it sit. That's unfortunately the way I had to do it. This year, I'm going to try to take better care of it. And again, you know, I want to plow all these metals up. That's going to be a massive amount of work. And that's going to have to wait till everything else is done, till the harvest is done, till, you know, whatever batch of animals I have to sell is done, till all the sheds are cleaned out, till everything's ready for winter, you know. And then I can come through. Uh, I may even have to pick up a second plow, um, you know, and try to get everybody involved in the plowing of all these meadows so that we can get grass planted back in them again, get some nutrients in them, and have decent grass for next year. So, yeah, we'll come over here now. Of course, I kind of came down the wrong way, but this is the quickest way from where I was. Uh, we'll come down here, and we'll get uh, Perry here mowing this meadow. It's a little bit of an odd meadow. It's an odd shape, you know, but okay. And the one entrance to it is way up here by the shop. <laughs> so you basically come from the dairy where I was. Whoop, I drove right by the entrance. Sorry. Right by the entrance. Uh, you basically come from the dairy all the way back up almost to the main farm. So, Entrance? That would be the entrance. Luckily, it's Sunday morning, early Sunday morning. There's not a lot of people out. So, Okay. Now, I'm pretty sure I have a course for this, although I'm not 100% certain what it's going to look like or how it's actually going to work. So, But we will find out. All right. Uh, let's see. I believe, I believe this is called OEB Meadow, which would put it down here somewhere. OEB Meadow Markers. Uh, yep, let's see. Oh, starts way up here, huh? I did go all the way up here? Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, and because I never remember how wide this thing is. Not going to mess with offsets or any of that. I have the hardest time with that. Um, it seems like no matter which direction I put the offset in, it doesn't work. And that's just me, you know, being dumb, not, not really knowing what I'm doing. So, 5.6 meters. Yeah? Okay. That'll work. Uh, we want to start, uh, we're sort of, which direction are we headed here? We're sort of north, northeast, I think. Are we headed south? Uh, it looks kind of southish, I guess. Uh, maybe two headlands after? I don't know. Let's find out what that's going to look like. Now, where's that going to put the start point, though, is the question. And that's going to put the start point down here somewhere. So I had the directions wrong. Go figure. Let me just fold that back. Yeah, it's going to be a bit of an odd meadow, um, but it, it is anyway. It's an odd meadow to mow, so. Is this the start point right here? Wow, yeah. It's going to be interesting. Oh, whatever. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure uh, Perry will figure it out. Field speed, 8 miles an hour? Sure, that should be good. Uh, and first waypoint and drive the course. I just want to see what he's going to actually do here. See if, uh, see if he figures this out. I'm sure he will. You know, again, it's it's a weird shape. So you can see, absolutely no end. The soil, uh, the pH is good, the moisture is good, but no end. Just cannot get these fields to take end. They all need to be plowed up. They all need to be redone. Um, I'm really taking a chance here with this low-quality grass, you know. This year, I'm just so hesitant to dig them up, to plow them up this year because I need the grass. So, but definitely this winter, um, you know, we'll have a, we'll, we should have a good stockpile of grass. This winter, they're all going to get plowed up. They're all going to get, you know, bombed with nutrients, and then they're going to get replanted, and we'll hopefully have better grass next year. I kind of expected this meadow to not be in great shape because this meadow got the least sort of love, you know, out of all of them last year. Um, I was just too busy to really get to them all, so. Uh, what are you doing? You, you, really? Are you going to go all the way around, and you're going to drive into that tree? Oh, you are so lucky you missed that tree. Otherwise, we'd be having a talk. <laughs> It's funny how sometimes it'll turn around, it'll back up and turn around, and sometimes it won't. I don't know. And I think it has something to do with the offset, the natural built-in offset of this 
uh, mower. So as you can see, you know, the front mower is going over stuff it hasn't been over, but the rear mower is going over what it's already been over. I'm fine with that just so long as it mows. I don't really care. No. Okay, looks like you're going to be doing all right. Uh, should I save this course? Yeah, let's save it. Why not? OEB Meadow Mow. I've got a lot of courses, and some of them I don't need anymore, so I need to get rid of uh, a few courses at some point. That's another thing I always talk about, but I never actually do because I never remember it until I'm actually using course play, right? I mean, why would I think about it, you know, just I'm watching TV and I'm like, oh, I need to, you know, get rid of some course play courses. Nobody thinks like that, right? So. All right, very good. Have at it. I'm sure the harvester, yep, is definitely full. That's good. That's perfect. So this should be our first load. Um, oh, why are we... I'm getting got a little bit of lag there. Of course, that's probably auto combine too. You know, auto combine is another one of those things that, for me, causes some issues. It causes some lag. Um, you know, it, it it sometimes doesn't work the way it's supposed to. I notice that if I'm in the combine, when auto combine is working, and I tab away from the combine, uh, then auto combine will just go crazy. <laughs> so I try not to I try not to start it. You know, I try to start it and get out of it as quick as possible, and then just let it do its thing. Okay, this should be our first load going over to Soya UK. So, you know, contract price. Uh, we agreed on the price when they decided they wanted to uh, to buy the seed. So, apparently, they rented or leased or bought a little bit of of, of area over there in the Decob complex uh, to put their. Um, storage silos in so i bring it over there and then they come and get it and they bring it to their main facility um so works out good for all of us i think yeah this is going to fill this stewart trailer up so that's good and we'll run over there probably should turn the beacons on i guess it's definitely foggy enough that i need some beacons so that people can see me coming Oh, it would be awesome if this fills up and... Uh, oh, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Beautiful. Okay. Put the sheet on it. And off to Soya UK we go. With our first load of soybean seeds for our contract. So this would be a good source of revenue for us, I think. Soybeans are easy to grow. Um, they grow quickly, you know. So I could almost... I, I mean, I could... Well, not almost. I could easily get another crop of soybeans in the ground if I wanted to, but... I want to get some corn in the ground for silage for myself and for silage for the BGA. So, uh, are you are you slipping? Are you going to be able to figure it out? Because I can't cut any trees down there for you. So you're going to have to figure it out. That's the problem with these some of these odd shaped meadows. You know, you really can't. You really sort of have to monitor them. You know, and, and do them yourself because a lot of times, you know, your hired hands will be like, "Oh, I drove into a tree. What do I do?" <laughs> All right, now, if I remember how to get in here, go through here, drive over to Cobb Scale, which I'm sure they won't mind. I'm sure they got to be getting a cut of this, you know what I mean? So, and there's the Soya UK facility. So, now, obviously, this is another thing that I've added. Um, I just changed, there was a, there was a, uh, a, a cool uh, sort of logo up there. I changed it to say Soya UK on it. But now, I think if I was smart, that backing this in is going to be the way to go. So, and we'll find out if my trigger works. <laughs> this was actually one of the triggers I was having an issue with, um, you know, w when the game was throwing up all the errors. Because I th believe I just grabbed this trigger from the DeCobb trigger over there, parked it down here, and, you know, the game was like, okay, so now again you have the same trigger in two different places, and I don't like that. So, probably should take the sheet off, I guess, huh? Is my trigger going to work? Uh, no. Uh, that's not good. I know I put a trigger back in here when I cut it out of the transform group. Um, maybe it's just not over far enough. Maybe I didn't put the trigger in both, both grain pits, which would be weird. You'd think I would have done that. Uh, always great to test stuff on screen, huh? Oh, there we go. Trigger. Now, do I have this set to green door? Hope I do. No, I don't. Whatever. It's fine. Are we getting paid? Yes, we're getting paid. So that means it works. Perfect. Uh, is this going to clip through the building? Yeah, if I had backed in all the way, it wouldn't. There we go. I had to back all the way in the building. 
Oh, there you go. Not a bad haul for the first time. Uh, I want to set this to the grain door, though. Uh, left shift and Q. Grain. There we go. Okay. Very nice. Very, very nice. We made a little money off that, so that's cool. You know, again, I, the, the, you know, I'd made the contract with Soy UK. We had agreed on a price uh, per ton, you know, so all working out pretty well, I think. Oh, I didn't even realize I could come through the through the dairy uh, entrance. Oh, cool. I have to remember that. I won't, but. Oh, some of these other fields are going to need some herbicide as well uh, and probably some nutrients. So, like I said, in this episode, I really want to focus on getting this harvest done. Once the harvest is done, then we can um, deal with the rest of the fields um, and get that, uh, get OEB's meadow over there uh, and the, my meadow eight uh, raked and baled. So. Shouldn't be on this field for too much longer, it doesn't look like. This isn't a huge field, you know, and none of my fields are huge, obviously, so. Is it this? I never remember what... Whoops. You can tell I've been playing different games, right? <laughs> I'm hitting E to turn the engine off, and it's not E. That's Euro Truck BP. Come on. So, now I'm afraid to tap back to my... Where is the harvester? Where is he? I'm afraid to tab over to the harvester because if I do, auto combine will go nuts. I just know it. So maybe we'll just run over here and watch him. <laughs> you know, it's too bad because this is another thing, right? This sort of breaks your immersion. You 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 know, you want to... I re would really love to play this as a full, always in character, 100% RP, you know, uh, series. But it's hard when... Because obviously, you know, if you're going to hire people, to work on your farm. You're going to hire people that know what they're doing, right? So you're not going to hire idiots who, if you, you know, get too close to their equipment, they're just going to be like, oh, I don't know what to do and stop, right? Or they're going to drive in, they're not going to drive into trees when they're mowing, you know what I mean? They're going to, they're going to avoid the trees. So, but because the game doesn't do that, occasionally, you know, not occasionally, but quite often, you, you, you know, you, you can't get fully immersed. We do try though. So, um, you know, it's funny, I was thinking about this, too, while we're just standing here doing absolutely nothing. Um, that, I, I don't know what to do about Norris Home, guys. I don't know whether to to reboot that, start that over again, or find another map. I mean, there's no shortage of maps, certainly, by any means. There are absolutely no shortage of maps. One of the, wow, you're at 80% already? Holy crap. Um, one of the issues I'm running into, though, and it's funny, you know, and I'm certainly not trying to be mean by any means, uh... But is that Mike, you know, Reefy1952, my, my good friend there, the old rambling man from Norfolk, uh, he is doing so many maps that I, there's not, you know what I mean? Like, all the maps that I'm really interested in, he's already doing. <laughs> and I really try hard to not do maps that other people are doing, so. I mean, again, there is no shortage of maps out there, so I'm sure I could probably find uh, a, a good map, you know, that'll run well on the Abacus and everything. Uh, but I just don't know if I'm ready to give up on Norse Home. I'm kind of annoyed because I put so much work into that, you know, um, even in those 10 episodes that I really want to, you know what? In fact, I've just talked myself into it. We're going to do a reboot of Norse Home. We're going to start over again. We're going to have an actual plan this time about what we want to do and how we're going to do it. And I'm not going to be so strict about things. If I need to sell something to buy something, I'm going to do it. So. so that's that. There, see that? We just noodled that right through, right on the screen. Thanks for your help, guys. I really appreciate it. Yeah, we'll be done with this field pretty quickly, I believe. A couple more passes, right? Oh, yep, because he's sort of in the middle of it now. I could have had him going up and down at some point, but to be honest, when you're not leaving straw, it doesn't really matter. Not to me, anyways. Yeah, probably a trailer and a half. There you go, 24% there. You know what? Could I pace you? If I paced you, then at least I'd be doing something. Oh, the... Perry is done. Okay, very good. I wonder how he did. We'll go over there and look afterwards. Now, I'm probably going to have to turn him around to get him going on the rest of this because he's not going to know. See, this is the other thing. You know, about real people would know that, oh, there's soybeans behind me. Let me go get them, right? Um, but the game's going to be like, oh, I'm done. So, you know, you, you do. Yeah, see, 
you do what you, you can do, and you, you try your best, and, you know, the rest is, well, you know, just fiddling, I guess. Oh, no, he's going he's gonna to turn around, he's just taking his time. And you can see the little bit of lag I get because Auto Combine is now, you know, trying to calculate stuff. Okay, I am, I am in this direction. I am this far away from this crop. I am blah, blah, blah. So he's trying to figure it out. Plus, I'm driving him nuts by making him put the pipe out and in all the time. Um, so always going to cause a little, bit of, a little bit of stutteriness, but it's not awful. Not nearly as bad as it was, certainly. So. Oh, this isn't going to work. You're going to be too far on this side. I'm not going to be able to pace you. I'll be in the crop if I pace you, right? You're not going to be able to take this whole swath, I don't think. You're going to be able to take this whole row where I don't have to be in the crop at all? Oh, maybe. Maybe just. Oh, you're just going to go down this side. Okay, that's fine. That works, too. Yeah, we may get a little bit more in a trailer and a half, which is fine, you know? It's all money. I need it, so little closer to the pipe try to stay out of the crop I've been having some thoughts about what's good now I, I realize we're still early in this season but as I like to do I've been having some thoughts about what to do for the next season um, first of all you know I, while we still have quite a while of this season left I want to ask you guys like I do every year you know every year quote unquote here in Old Ridge uh, do you guys want to keep seeing this you know have you had enough? Have you not had enough? Do you, do you like it? Do you, you know? Do you want to keep seeing it or not? Um, as I say every time I say this, I will always keep playing on it regardless. I'll just stop recording it if you guys don't want to watch it anymore. If you do want to watch it, I've been having some thoughts about what I want to do for the next season. I think trying to keep moving this as towards a the, the most realistic as I can make it, I may start using uh, the crop destruction, and I may put in the damage mod. Now... Let me say this about the damage mod. The damage mod can be a massive pain in the ass because of the fact that it's very, very sensitive. Uh, or at least it was. And I, I, I shouldn't be... I should try to be a little more fair to it uh, because I haven't used it in Farming Simulator 15. I did use it in Farming Simulator 13, and it was very, very sensitive. So um, I know Mike is using it on his Smokedown series right now. Uh, I just watched a video of that last night. Uh, he seems to have done some work to it to uh, sort of tame it down a little bit. I'm going to have to talk to him and see if he can guide me in the right direction on how to do that. Um, but I definitely am going to use crop destruction, going to have tram lines, going to be have to be careful about how I drive on the fields and things like that. Um, you know, if we're going to keep doing this series, let's, let's, I think, make it as realistic as possible. Now, obviously, like I just said, it's never going to be 100% realistic because, you know, real people don't drive into trees, real people don't get lost, real people don't, you know do silly stuff that the game will do but we can try to make it as realistic as possible and of course the story will continue uh you know mike will hopefully be a counselor by then i'm pretty sure he will be everybody i talk to um with the exception of a couple who are probably in the crawford brown's pocket you know because uh, i've been out stumping for him pretty hard for those of you who don't know what stumping means uh it's a term that you know it's i've been out um campaigning for him you know um, you know, talking to people, because I can't vote. I'm not a British subject, so I can't vote, but I can definitely campaign for him. And everybody I've talked to has been like, you know what, we, it would be great to have another farmer on the council. It'd be great to have somebody like Mike, who's been around for so long, you know, who knows the area, who knows, you know, knows the farmers, knows, you know, the people, not just the farmers of the area. We're not looking to be, you know, we don't want all special treatment and all that kind of stuff. We just want to be treated fair. Um, so, and everybody seems fully in Mike's camp. So let's hope that that continues to work out. He wins this election, and then he can move on to the district where he can take on Crawford Brown and uh, get rid of her, and then maybe we can return some sanity to the Old Ridge Valley area. That would be awesome. Wow, this is going to work out just about perfect, huh? About 30 minutes for this harvest? Awesome. Very, very good. So, yeah, like I said, the next episode, we'll be drilling uh, corn over here, so... I have to make some adjustments to my corn planter uh, so that it will drill, but not a big deal. Me and uh, me and Perry will knock that out. So, or me and Phil, because Phil won't really have much to do. Perry will be tedding. So, yeah, it's just about a trailer and a half. You know, again, not expecting a whole bunch off of this field because the field's just not that big. I mean, it looks big and it, you know, but it's not. <laughs> so. I think this was a pretty good yield, all in all. Now, 
Very, very good. And just shut it off. Awesome. Okay. So, jump back in the cab. Now, normally I would even get some lag uh, with the chopped straw texture, you know. Uh, but I'm not even getting that. So, that's awesome. You know, that just shows you again, you know, go through your log. Take care of your game. You know, it's, it's like anything else. You want, you know, I, I am absolutely fastidious about taking care of my... Uh, my computer, my steering wheel, you know, now my joystick. Um, I was pretty good about taking care of the other one, too, but um, taking care of all this stuff, you know, but it's like the game. I don't even, you know, oh, a bunch of errors, blah, 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 you know, really? You're just, you're begging for your game to crash on you. You're begging for your game to not work, right? So I need to be a bit more fastidious about taking care of that as well. Oh, did we miss some right there? Oh, we did. Phil! Phil! Oh, well. That's another those case of BP's got plenty of money, right? So I don't need uh, I don't need that little bit of soybeans over there. <laughs> Soybean seeds, I should say. I believe we're getting paid about $740 a ton for these, in case you were curious. Um, I could look it up. Uh, in fact, let's look it up, and uh, I'll show you. So, uh, Let's see. Got to first of all, I got to scroll down till I get to them. Uh, where are the soybeans? Soybeans right there, and soya UK because it does it in alphabetical order is going to be way down here. Uh, seven hundred forty-one dollars a ton. Yeah, that's that's fair. That's about right. Well, that's the price we settled on. So I just need to get lined up with the correct. Green pit over here. Yeah, they'll take in you know they'll take in seeds from uh, from a bunch of different farms in the area, uh, fill up these silos, and then uh, I guess they'll have trucks come down, empty them off on the other side, uh, bring them back to their main facility. So now grain door, I just like watching the grain door and this thing work. <laughs> so yep, once he tips all the way up, he'll open the grain door. There he goes. It's a little slower, but I think it's cool. So. I never back up far enough. I'm always clipped into the building. There we go. Ah, uh, is this going to break us 95? 95,000, I think? 93. Almost. Almost. Not too shabby at all. All right. So, now, I think, what we will do is, we will call this an episode, right? already have a screenshot and everything, so I'm good there. I'll just shut that off so it's not making a whole bunch of noise when I'm trying to talk. So there you go, guys. There's our first harvest of this of this season at uh, on Old Ridge. M plenty more to come. Um, next episode, we will be drilling corn uh, through the trash over there on the soybean field. We will be uh, baling, I'm sure. We will be probably, uh, one of these guys will be mowing uh, another meadow. The quicker I can get a mowed, tedded, baled up, the quicker I can get them, you know, uh, get my grass sort of situation, take a look at what I've got, see if I can get away with maybe plowing some of these meadows now, you know, uh, so there's not so much to do in the winter. And we'll just keep rolling on as we do. As always, guys, thanks so much for coming. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for clicking like. If you like the videos, guys, please click the like button. It helps me and the channel out a whole bunch. It helps other. It helps move me up in the search recommendations, you know, the channel, so that other people can find the channel and they can come and hopefully enjoy our particular brand of simulation gaming over here. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for all your tips, suggestions, ideas, the, the general love, and the feedback you guys show me. It means everything to me. Thank you so much. You're all awesome. Uh, I could do this without you. I don't want to. It's that simple because you guys are amazing. Uh, thanks for being my friends. Thanks for checking me out on Facebook, on Twitter, on Steam, you know, and all of that stuff. And as always, thanks for uh, making me a part of your YouTube day. And this is the Bipolar Prophet saying, see you later.